Hey guys, today we're gonna take a look at a very interesting uh, project to make our own microscope, especially if you're a technician, why not do this one? And you can watch it or record it or do whatever you want if you are gonna be Louis Rossman style, for example, but you don't have the money to buy a good microscope. Well, use one of these phones. Yes, I just made a video about this phone and today I'm gonna use it again. But instead, today we will use it as a microscope to watch stuff from the camera now the software we're gonna use will be linked in the description below it's free and it, i already scanned it it's called just screen copy first of course it will not load anything but you have to connect your phone to it and uh, let me plug in the usb here boom and the other end to the phone as you see right here it is connected if you connect it for the first time it will ask you do you trust this computer and obviously if you trust if you trust your computer do it and after that just go to screen copy that will be linked on description below and just uh, double tap on it to open you'll see this kind of screen here let me minimize this one don't close this one if you close that one yeah it will close the app itself and in my case i'm gonna use open camera I will leave a link in the description for that one. It's Android only, as far as I know. It's a little bit better in most cases, especially for older phones, than the original camera app. Just at least in my experience. So I'll leave that link on the description below as well. It's this app right here. We're gonna open it. And as you see, it went straight to our screen here. But if I rotate it sideways, for example, you will see that the camera turns. And now I'm just going to put it on this kind of interesting, I would say, uh, holder. You can put a 10 minute tripod or whatever you happen to have. And I'm going to put it very close here. And as you see right now, you think it's blurry, right? Let me try to keep it a little bit more straightened but take your cursor on the laptop for example and yes this thing you're seeing here is not steady at all but let me just click on it and we are in focus right now for example and as you see you might need extra light if you want to in my case i'm just gonna use it to demonstrate to you guys what i'm doing but if you want to make it a little bit more interesting or at least <laughs> more usable, you can use something simple as these Walmart lights. They're rechargeable. Let's say I'm going to put it right here because that's where we want to see what we're doing, for example. And in that case, we want to see, for example, some of those capacitors there and whatnot. There's a tiny slider right here on the bottom. Just drag it towards the left. And as you see, now we can zoom in really, really far and we can work. If you have a soldering iron, for example, you can put it right there and you can start working on it and uh, let me simulate the soldering iron because i'm not gonna open mine and do the whole thing because really who got time for that let me put this right here so you have a little bit more detail and as you see for example we are looking at some of the pieces that with the naked eye would be almost impossible to see but they are right here as you see this is how big this screwdriver is. It's it's the tiniest thing you'll ever see, probably, right here. But when I put it under this homemade microscope, it looks really, really good. And yes, it is very easy to work and become your own Louis Rossman. And as you see, there is a very nasty hair right there that might be a cat, may not be a cat. I don't know. We will never know. <laughs> or if you ever wondered what's inside the let's say hdmi port well we bring the hdmi port right here and if we can push it right there let's click on the focus and boom right there is your hdmi port and you can actually see the tiny legs right under there and you can see the caps you can see the other parts that are around it and in my opinion this setup is actually really good and would be extremely helpful especially if you're working on small details and look at that i see right there for example you can just click on it to refocus and put the light on it and you take your tiny soldering iron and start working on it and you see there's a hair right there that's how detail how much detail you can actually see on it and just so you can see that these are not as 
big as you think they are. Here's the board itself. Here's the IC chip you just saw. Much tinier than my uh, finger. Right there. This thing right there. And this is the whole board itself. So this thing really opens some possibilities for repairs. And even if you're a repair shop, doing a makeshift microscope for your workshop. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. And besides that, you can click right here on the record button. And right now it's recording. And yes, you can switch the settings. You can change the light. You can lock the focus so it doesn't change. You can lock the light if you want so it doesn't change. But one thing I would suggest you do better than me, find something more stable to put it over here. This is, by the way, just a microphone holder that I use. It's not really meant to have anything steady on top of it, but that's uh, how we work with what we have. And that's why I say it's very important to work with what you have, not what you don't have. So don't tell yourself you cannot do it because you don't have that high-end microscope. Now just go out, pull that drawer, pull some of these guys that have pretty okay cameras, and just make a microscope for your soldering station to check, for example, if some of the capacitors or whatnot are burnt and just general inspection for example on boards whether it's phones or computers or tv board like this one you can do a lot a lot and yes on this app you can connect any android it doesn't matter if it's the old motos with a micro usb or if it's the 2019 2020 moto with a usb c or if it's a samsung or if it's a Sony that I broke the back of this, I'm not sure if you can see it, but this one has a really good 4K camera. I can just charge it, plug it in, and it will do really great with this app. And I said, as I said again, a link will be on the description below. And yes, I will link the video where I installed this app before, and you guys can go check it out yourself. And yes, one more thing, when you're installing this, you will have to have your, uh, developer options on the reason being is that you have to give permission to this app right here and when you are at your developer options for example if i can find them right here advanced developer options you just have to go to your usb debugging and turn it on if you don't know how to open developer options it's really easy let me show you real quick you go to your about phone go to wherever your build number is it will say build number and click it seven times mine says no need because i'm already but if you're not it will say press six five four three two one then you're a developer then you go in my case i go to system in your case might be different but just find the developer options developer options and you just go scroll till you find usb debugging turn it on and you will be ready to go when you first plug in the usb as i said just give it permission and say that you trust this computer or whatever and that's all that is all it is to make a really really nice microscope for your soldering station you can record it you can use it and what could go wrong with that and with that said I hope you're gonna give me a subscribe and a like maybe or you can share this video with somebody that you might think needs to watch it or would like to watch it and learn this kind of easy solution for a microscope. I cannot call it a trick because it's not really a trick. The software is free, phones are probably free if you have one of the older ones laying around and no that is not limited to only old phones. You can use your brand new Samsung, I don't know, S23 or what you have, it will work. But I'm saying that you don't let these go to waste. And with that said, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for stopping by at Omnitech and we will see you next time. Bye!